volcano is a sudden explosion of hot gases and molten rock particles from the earth's interior now in this video we can see that volcanic eruptions can be of several types like in some cases lava can come out through a single opening while in other cases lava can also come out through multiple cracks now lava can be fluid and spread over a vast region while in other cases lava is sticky and accumulates at a particular place so depending on these factors that is how the volcano erupted and the type of lava content volcanoes can be classified into various types now here we have picture of different volcanoes look these four volcanoes have different shapes and structures for instance in the first picture we can see that lava and fumes of hot gases and pyroclast come out from a single point do you know what type of volcano is it this is known as central volcano thus in case of central volcano the volcanic materials come out through a single opening in the earth's crust now look at the second picture uh, can you relate the shape of the volcano with something this volcano looks like a cone and therefore this type of volcano is called conical volcano in other words conical volcano has a cone shaped with steep slopes now a conical volcano is formed when lava is highly viscous and sticky therefore they do not flow over a vast region and accumulates at a particular point making the summit thus a conical volcano is formed when making the summit or cone shaped thus a conical volcano is formed when lava is highly viscous but what happens if lava is less viscous if lava is less viscous more fluid and spreads over a vast region in such case shield volcano is formed now here we have the picture of a shield volcano now a shield volcano has a dome shape and gentle slopes this is because a shield volcano is formed by a lava which is more fluid and they spread over a vast region thereby forming gentle slopes and dome shape and this type of volcano is called shield volcano now look at the fourth picture in this picture we can see that lava and volcanic materials come out through two openings do you know what type of volcano is it this type of volcano is called fissure volcano thus in case of fissure volcano volcanic lava and volcanic materials comes out not through one but through multiple openings thus in case of a fissure volcano lava and volcanic materials eject from come out not from a single point but through multiple cracks or fissure and also in case of fissure volcano the eruptions occur at regular time intervals and therefore in case of fissure volcano sheets of lava is formed in steps because eruptions occur at different intervals so these are the various types of volcanoes based on how the volcano erupted the first one is central volcano in case of central volcano lava comes out through a single opening in case of conical volcano lava is viscous and forms a cone shape now if lava is less viscous and more fluid then it forms a shield volcano eruptions occur at intervals and volcanic materials comes out through multiple cracks or fissure then it is known as fissure volcano now before we proceed can you help me to answer this identify the type of volcano in which eruptions occur at regular intervals is it central volcano conical volcano shield volcano or fissure volcano well the correct answer is 
fissure volcano because in this type of volcano the volcanic materials comes out through multiple cracks and eruptions occur at intervals. So here we have different classifications of volcano. Now based on the first parameter that is based on the type of eruptions volcanoes can be classified as central, conical, shield and fissure. Now there are other types of volcanoes let us learn about them. We know some animals like hedge dogs. Bats, snakes, snails, etc. hibernate during winters. Now what is hibernation? Hibernation is a period of dormancy during which these animals reduce their physical activities and go on for a deep slumber. So just like these animals, few volcanoes also remain inactive for long and may erupt suddenly. Do you know what are such volcanoes called? Such volcanoes are called dormant volcanoes. Thus dormant volcanoes are the volcanoes that remain inactive for long and but have the possibility of future eruption. Now some examples of dormant volcanoes are Mount Vesuvius of Italy. I just mentioned that Mount Vesuvius is a dormant volcano. Uh, now why is it a dormant volcano? Because the first eruption occurred in AD 79 and then after a long pause it again erupted in 1631 and recently it again erupted in 1929. So this time gap tells us that these volcanoes remain inactive for long and then it may erupt suddenly one day. Again here we have Mount Fuji. Now Mount Fuji remained inactive for long and suddenly in the year 1707 it erupted and it has been dormant since then. Thus dormant volcano is one that remains inactive for long but has possibility of future eruption. We just read that dormant volcanoes are the one that remains inactive for long but the volcanoes that are active in present times is known as active volcano. Thus active volcanoes are the ones that are presently active and have erupted recently maybe in the past 50 years. Now few examples of this type of volcano are Mount Mauna Loa it is situated in Hawaii. This volcano, this volcano is considered one of the biggest active volcano in the world. It has erupted in the year 1984. Another example of active volcano is Mount Stromboli. It is situated in the mid of Mediterranean Sea. Now this volcano is very active and erupts frequently and when it erupts its summit glow and due to this reason this volcano is also known as lighthouse of the Mediterranean. I have discussed about dinosaurs. Now dinosaurs is an extinct animal that is they are no longer alive. Now the volcanoes that have never erupted are known as extinct volcanoes that is they are dead and have never erupted. 
Now the example of extinct volcano is Mount Anacongua of Argentina and Mount Kilimanjaro of Tanzania. These two volcanoes have record of no eruptions in human civilization and thus they are considered as extinct volcanoes. Thus extinct volcanoes are the ones that has neither erupted for a long period of time nor has the possibility of future eruption. So therefore, based on the frequency of volcanic eruptions, volcanoes can be classified into three types. Active volcanoes are the ones that are presently active. Dormant volcanoes are the ones that remain inactive for long but may erupt in future. Extinct volcanoes are the ones that have never erupted nor has the possibility of future eruption. Now there is another classification of volcano. Let's learn about it. Look at the picture of these two volcanoes. The first picture is of Mount Pelly, which is situated in West Indies. And the second picture is of Kilauea, which is situated in Hawaii. Now if you carefully look at these two pictures, you will find that these two volcanoes have different shapes. The first one has a conical structure that is a high summit and steep slopes. While the second one is dome shaped with gentle slopes. Now why the structures or shapes of these two volcanoes vary? This is because of the differences in the composition of lava. That is in the first case that is in case of Mount Pelly, the lava is acidic in nature and therefore it is an example of acid lava dome while in second case the lava is basic in nature and therefore this volcano is an example of basic lava shield. So now let us differentiate between acid lava dome and basic lava shield. The first point of difference between these two volcanoes is that in case of acid lava dome the lava is acidic, more viscous and less fluid. That is the lava is sticky in nature and does not flow much and therefore due to this reason it forms a conical structure as it accumulates in a particular place. Conversely in case of basic lava shield the lava is basic in nature, less viscous and more fluid. And since the lava is more fluid it flows over a vast region creating dome shape. Thus in case of basic lava shield, lava is less viscous, more fluid and therefore it flows over a vast region creating broader peaks. Now the second point of difference between these two volcanoes is that in case of acid lava dome, the volcano is dome shaped with steep slopes and has higher elevation. In this picture we can see that it has a sharp peak, steep slopes and it has higher elevation because in this case lava is more viscous that is sticky and therefore it accumulates in a particular place creating this shape. On the contrary basic lava shield has broader peak, gentle slopes and lower elevation and greater extent that is they spread over a vast region and why is that so because in this type of volcano lava is basic in nature and more fluid and therefore they flow over a vast region forming broader peaks and gentle slopes. Now the last point of difference between these two volcanoes is the mineral composition of lava. In case of acid lava dome, the lava is rich in silica and poor in iron and magnesium and therefore this lava is acidic in nature. And while in case of basic lava shield, the lava is poor in silica and rich in iron and magnesium that is this lava is 
basic in nature and therefore it is called basic lava shield thus these are the differences between acid lava dome and basic lava shield in case of acid lava dome lava is acidic in nature sticky and therefore forms high peak with steep slopes whereas in case of basic lava shield the lava is basic in nature more fluid and therefore forms broader peak with gentle slopes so depending on lava content la volcanoes can be classified into two types that is acid lava dome and basic lava shield so here we have the summary chart on classification of volcanoes volcanoes can be classified into different types based on parameters like how the volcano erupted and the volcanoes are central volcano conical volcano shield volcano and finally fissure volcano again on based on the frequency of eruption volcanoes can be classified into three types like active volcano dormant volcano and extinct volcano and finally volcano can be further classified into two types based on the composition of lava thus in today's video we learnt about different classification of volcanoes which is displayed in this chart in our next video we will study more about volcanoes don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now